Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, or welcome back. My name is Keeper, and today we are checking out the demo for Tidy Cauldron. So Tidy Cauldron is a game where you help three messy witches clean up their chaos. And it looks like it's like a point and click puzzle game where you organize things within the cauldron. You'll see, you'll see. It looks super adorable. It's pixel art, which we love. And it's just like puzzles. I love puzzles. They're great. As always, I will link the game down below. Make sure you subscribe here too because we have all sorts of demos and playthroughs and everything coming your way. And uh, let's just get uh, into the game. Alrighty, here we go. It is Tiny Cauldron. I'm starting to think that I said Tiny Cauldron before, but I mean, like, maybe it's a small cauldron as well. Anyway, so let's just get into this. Um, and into the spell book. Interesting. Okay, so here we go. New ingredient, candle. Use it when it gets dark. So, like, the nice thing is, it's very simple. That's what they want you to think. They start you out with simple. I know these games, and they they make you believe that you're a genius at the beginning. And then as you get further into it, they're like, mm-mm-mm, mm-mm, blue toad. Will it turn into a prince if I kiss it? Should I even try? See, now we, now, now we got things. I'm going to turn it this way. I feel like you could probably solve this a few different ways, but we got it. We're there. <laughs> oh, a white kitty cat. Meow, meow, meow. No cats were harmed in the making of this game. That's freaking cute. Okay, we're gonna put this here. We'll put that one there. Uh, we're gonna turn this one. We'll put it there. Let's see, I feel like a genius. Again. For now. I like games like this because they are simple. They are relaxing. And like, this is the type of game that makes me want to get um, a Steam Deck so I can just lay in bed and play these. Like, imagine. Mm, it'd be glorious. Oh, now we have a black cat. Womb. Oh, it's meow backwards. Looks like this cat is reversed, which makes sense. It's the reverse of the white cat. All right. I'm going to have to use our brain now. Put a white cat here. Um... No. <laughs> Let me turn this guy. No. <laughs> See, I told you. We were going to feel really smart until we didn't. There we go. Now I feel smart again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Looks like we've got... We're on spell number six. Okay. So we're... We're adding things in. Let's so put that there. That could work. Yeah, we got it, I think. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, on to the next one. Oh, pink tentacle. It's wiggly. It's a, that slimy thing moved. I saw it. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Let's put this here that's not gonna work all right let's put that guy there put that there let's put this here it's like so close and yet not I don't think that one goes there to be honest see this is when this is a, why, why they why they add more pieces in like do we go this way first That could do something. We do also have this guy to consider. I'm pretty sure, like, that guy... Well, I mean, I guess he could technically... Okay, wait, wait. Okay, wait. I mean, this still doesn't work here, but... Oh! Aha! Uh -huh. We've done it! We're a genius! <laughs> Alright, we're on to spell number eight. See, honestly, it gets harder when you don't have things in the middle that you have to walk around. Um, because, like, at least when things are, like, in the middle, you know you have to work around them. But, like, here, they aren't. I'm gonna just... I'm gonna see if we can do this... Oopsies. This, this easily. <laughs> Oh, so close. 
so close. So close and yet so far away. I'm thinking that those guys probably don't go together like that. What if we do that? Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. No. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe? Nope. Nope. I'm like, oh, this will work, but this is not a long cat. This is, we need a long cat, everybody. Oh, what does that do? Does that bring everything out? I'm, I'm afraid that might be... I don't want to hint. I just want to clear the board real quick here. Okay. You go there, bud. You just get out there. Okay. Um, I, I mean, maybe it doesn't. I was like, I feel like it goes there, but maybe it doesn't. That could go there. Okay. Mm, almost. We do not have a, a Tetris-shaped dude. Okay. That's not gonna work for reasons. <laughs> for reasons. The reasons being it doesn't fit. So if we put that one there, okay. God, how can we... That couldn't work there. That couldn't work there. That can't work there. Oh. Okay, what about that? Aha! That is correct! Oops. Get back here. <laughs> Yay! Alright, we are on to spell number nine. Ooh, a glass jar. What's inside? Oh, it's a snake. I was like, I don't want to know, but it's a snake. It's fine. Um, probably too simple to put that one right in the square part there. Go there. What if you go there? Oh, this is not going to work! Something's wrong. My, like, strategy with games like this is, um, is to just get it right. Um, start with the biggest pieces or working around, like, weird sticky outy things. Those are, like, the, kind of the two goes to, go-tos. That, honestly, nailed it. <laughs> See, started with the big piece and also worked around the middle ones. Like, you know, it's like, but like it's hard. <laughs> Demons. Er, how many eyes has that thing? Wasn't this game supposed to be wholesome? I mean, it's still pretty wholesome. I'm imagining that it just goes right in the middle for this particular one. Um, and that is correct. Bam. Easy peasy. <laughs> Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. All right. So. Okay. It's very clear to me that the only place this one can go is here because if it goes here, you can't access that. So that is the only place that can go. There's also going to be only one place this can go, which is right there. Bam. Logic. <laughs> and we're on to spell number 13. All right. Um, that can't do that. That can't do that. I mean, theoretically, it could go there. I don't think it's going to. Because I think this guy probably has to go right around there. If I'm being honest. Yeah. Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out. There, maybe? Is that... I think that's not, that's almost right. If we had to, oh, I think we can do it. I think we can do it. There we go. Bam. Again, like when you have pieces that can only go in very few spots, it makes it easier. A severed finger. That's, that's great. I love that. Even cut and run this finger is still alive. Scary. There's a good chance that this one will go somewhere like here. Uh, that doesn't necessarily have to go there. Yeah, I got it. Bam. Oh, I don't have... Oh, no, I do have it. As I'm like... As I've got it solved, I'm like, I don't have this. <laughs> okay. Um, 
not gonna go there. Maybe here. This guy, again, kind of has to middle. I mean, I guess technically he could go there. No. Almost, though. Maybe you go here, bud. What if I do... That's not gonna work. Maybe? No, not gonna work. Okay. Hold up. Because, like, technically, like, that guy can go there. This guy's a pain. And this guy's going to continue to be a pain. That... Almost. This could almost work. Ugh. Again, you want to work with, like, the bigger pieces that you have. Maybe. This is looking promising! There we go. It's just getting those, like, it's just getting, like, the two big pieces in, or the awkward pieces, and it makes all the difference. Hey! We did it. Dang. Okay, play the full version of the game to organize 100 levels. There's so much more ingredients to tidy. That was honestly a lot of fun. It was very chill. It made me feel very smart. I suspect, like I said, that is going to get significantly harder as you go along. Because I think we only did like, what, like 15 there? Pretty good. Alrighty, this game does not currently have a planned release date, but it does say sometime in 2024. So if you are interested in it, make sure you check out the demo. If not, wishlist it because I know it helps devs so much with discoverability when games get more wishlist. Um, so if you're intrigued by this, if you're interested in this, make sure you do that. Also make sure you subscribe here because we play all sorts of demos and game playthroughs and I just share my honest reaction. If I like a game, if I hate a game, if the controls are terrible, if the controls are the most smooth thing that I have ever felt, all that kind of stuff. This game, I could see myself playing it through. It's the type of game that I just love to relax with. <laughs> but anyways, thank you so much for watching and um, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.